Hey guys, what is going on? DTBG here, coming at you with another video because I have nothing better to do. And today we are talking about why I don't really care about how long it takes for GTA DLC to be released, and why I hope, or er, and something that I hope never happens in the future. Now we're gonna get right into this. Um, as you know, GTA 5 gives a lot of free DLC, which I love and I think is amazing, and that's contrast to Call of Duty quite a bit where they give you like just because they give you free DLC and the thing is is that the DLCs they take a long time to actually come out sometimes like remember the heist DLC the heist DLC took a really long time because it was like it took about a year for them to actually get that heist completely done but I didn't really mind that first of all because of they, they were trying to make sure that it was uh, quality DLC and second of all the DLC is free anyway and since it's free DLC um, I really don't care how long it takes them for the DLC to come out now uh, another thing that some of you might say or might say is that DLC isn't good if it's free or even if it's um, or DLC isn't even good if it's free because you're not getting a complete game they're just giving you a half like half of the game at launch and then giving you uh, DLC later which in this case for GTA I don't believe that's true because GTA 5 alone is a pretty complete game I mean we have a full we have a really good storyline which is like pretty it's a really amazing storyline and we have a whole bunch of side missions that can last or keep your gameplay experience going for like days and then that's just a single player alone then you have the multiplayer and the multiplayer that's even more um or that's even more gameplay which can last for as long as you want to because the levels go up basically as much as you want them to and they just have so much content like cars and everything so that's why i feel like we're not getting cheated when they give us dlc I feel like the DLC for Rockstar is just a bonus, which I think is amazing, and I think that this is how, this is a good example for what all DLC should be, is it should be a bonus, it shouldn't be the, it shouldn't just be an, at, it shouldn't just be like, what we should have gotten in the game already, like, you know, like for Destiny, we got very little content, and it was split up into uh, different DLCs, and that's kind of cheating out the consumer because they're paying sixty dollars for a game that they expect to be complete but then they get like a game that had doesn't have very much content on it to begin with uh... The game or there's no there, there are some problems with gta five uh... i a lot of there's actually a lot of problems with gta five but you're never going to get a perfect game uh, some examples are the connections, which the connect the connections are a big deal. It's very hard to get into matches a lot of the times, and you'll get kicked out a lot. And that's just an issue that I have, especially like if you're playing heist and you're trying to get people to join your lobby. A lot of the times they don't. I don't necessarily. I think that that's partly everyone else's fault because maybe they don't feel like joining the heist. But also, I think it's partly Rockstar's fault because whenever I try and uh, invite my friends sometimes they don't get the invite so the matchmaking needs to be fixed and also the uh, and just the yeah I already said this but the connections because a lot of the times like you'll disconnect from the server but this only this happens mostly only when a new DLC comes out and then it goes away later maybe just because of all the people that are on there uh, yeah and I don't know if you guys remember but GTA 5 did not real did not have a good launch. There was a lot of issues with the GTA Online. We didn't even get that for like the first month when the game dropped. Uh, I hope, I'm praying that uh, Rockstar doesn't turn into basically Activision, where Activision is basically just trying to get as much money out of your pocket as possible. I hope this game doesn't turn into, or doesn't start marketing like Call of Duty does and there is a big there's a good possibility that they could because if you see the sales for GTA 5 those are some good sales and because they're making more money um, or because they're making more money and they're getting more people to buy their game 
uh, then they're going to take start taking that for granted, and they're going to start giving us an incomplete game, which just happens with anything. This happens with Call of Duty. This hap this will pr it'll probably happen with GTA 5 if um, and it just and it happens with basically any product that you buy is if a lot of people buy it, the quality will eventually go down just because um, they're trying the company's trying to get as much money as they can and. Uh, I hope that GTA 5 doesn't turn into uh, making you pay for DLCs uh, just because they got a lot of sales on the game, so they're going to just start charging us now to or to actually like get the DLCs that we want. And I hope that they never do this. I know that they did it for GTA 4 with the single player DLC. That's not that big a deal because it wasn't that much money. and like most of the DLC that we get right now is free if it's online so I don't find that to be a real big issue I definitely don't want it to be like DLC that's like Call of Duty's DLC because with Call of Duty's DLC they release a season pass it's like fifty dollars which is basically the cost of a second game and also the they try and cheat you out of money as best as they can. Basically, Call of Duty is a scam because they there's random randomly paid supply drops that they give you. Like you pay you pay like a dollar, almost two dollars to get one supply drop, and most of the time you're not going to get anything special, just because the supply drop, or just because the game is designed so you don't get those elite weapons that you actually really want. So they're taking advantage of like. Uh, 10 to like the 10 to I don't know 20 year old demographic they're very easily uh, swindled out of money so they're basic you're basically gambling when you purchase a basically gambling when you purchase a uh, supply drop and they're normally not very good and then even after you do get your elite weapons like the speakeasy or the Battle 27 Elite, what, I don't know, I, don't, I forget what that's called. But even once you get that, then now they have this other DLC where they have, uh, uh, they have royalty guns. So they're going to be even, they'll probably be even more powerful than what the Elite weapons are. And then you're just going to have to go and pay more DLC to just get that better weapon. And the thing is, is that it's all an illusion. It does, doesn't even affect your game experience at all. And... Yeah, and so I'm just I'm just hoping that GTA never turns into what Call of Duty is right now. And I hope you enjoyed this commentary and I hope I'm praying that my mic quality is better. I'm trying to keep it farther away from my face this time because my last commentary it was very annoying to listen to because I listened to it myself and it was really terrible. But with that out of the way guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.